Hi guys, I'm in Bangkok airport and today I want to cover with you what is the best travel medical insurance for expats. As you know, I've been living in Phuket for a year and a half and I came across some really unfortunate scenarios and I always say to people, be safe than sorry. So I want to share with you the insurance that I've been using. The name is Safety Wing. It doesn't just cover you for medical purposes, it also covers you for travel. So things like lost baggage, delays, cancellations, etc, etc. Right, so before I continue, if, for example, you're already away, don't worry, you can buy safety wing insurance if you left your home country. Few things to mention, kids up to age of 10 go for free. I mean, how amazing is that? So you, you're going to cover yourself and your child as well, all under the same policy. Also, let's imagine, you know, you're traveling Asia and you don't know where you're going to go, like maybe Vietnam or Cambodia. You can add it. So you can basically add multiple countries to your policy because I know some um, insurances, they don't allow that. Also, you are covered when you are, I think up to 90 days, if you're traveling back home, like myself, I'm traveling quite regularly. So, you know, it's really, really useful. Also, there is a 24 seven online support with an English speaking person, <laughs> not a robot. So that's, that's handy too. I'm not covering with you guys all the ins and outs because this video is gonna be like 15 minutes long and I know you don't have time. I certainly don't have time because I'm about to catch my plane to London. I'm in Bangkok now. And uh, yeah, what I'll do in the description, I will leave you a link, go to that link, press on it, and then you will have all the details, all the exceptions. Like I think dangerous sports are not covered. So have a look at that. So if you're planning to go to Phuket to do Muay Thai sessions, you are not covered. So make sure you read all the details. I got criticized for not giving enough information in my previous video. And I'm like, guys, you're very busy. So I appreciate your time. Hence, I don't give the information. But just to mention a few uh, benefits. Um, dental work is covered. So if you fly to Thailand and then lose your crown, <laughs> you are covered. Not many insurances cover for dental work. So that's one for you. By the way, I'm in Oxford. I'm in Oxfordshire. I nearly missed my flight. So I had to stop recording. But anyway, second one, if God forbid something happens to you and you are looking for a nearest hospital, you can just contact Safety Wing and they will advise you where to go. Safety Wing does work as a subscription. So you just pay monthly and you can set up direct debit and you can forget about it but if however you stop your travels and you return back home you can pose it oh can you hear the baby on the background because of course in description you have my link and if you do decide to go for this insurance because it meets all your expectations, which I'm sure it will, um, then please do use my link. I would really much appreciate. But let me continue with the benefits. You are also covered for ambulance call. In some countries like Latvia, as an example, you do get charged. You can't just call ambulance. Um, and also physiotherapy. I mean, do you know any insurances that cover physiotherapy in case you need one? <laughs> I'm not aware of one. Oh, my gate is already open. Hopefully, I am not going to miss the plane. Uh, yesterday, I was the last person to get on the plane from uh, Phuket. Oh, I think I might be the last one here. Anyway, don't miss me too much. I hope you enjoyed the information and I'll see you very soon. Mwah!